morning, Central Denison, and welcome to school on this delightful Tuesday morning. We are so happy to have you here with us. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, and um, today for lunch, we've got some chicken stir fry and some rice, some pea pods and peppers. Ooh, that sounds delightful. Some fresh fruit, a cookie, and of course, your choice of chocolate or white milk. Now, I have to apologize. Um, there were no announcements on Friday because I had a very sick little boy at home and I had to take care of him. And uh, it was kind of an emergency uh, substitute situation. Uh, some of you got the, the pleasure of having your principal as your substitute. Wow, that's not every day that that happens. But because of that, I missed announcements and I missed saying birthdays. So we got quite a few birthdays to give little shout outs to today. Um, so on Friday and over the weekend, we had Miss Zoe in for, uh, kindergarten. We had Isaac in third grade. We had Tinley in third grade. Um, and then over the weekend, we had Oli Tommy in kindergarten. We had, um, I think, Emmanuel in kindergarten. Um, we had Araya in third grade. We had Olivia in first grade. We had Puck Horny in third grade. And we had. Um, and then today, we've got Delaney in third grade. We hope you guys have had absolutely wonderful birthdays. And of course, we cannot forget our fearless leader. Mrs. Bueller had her birthday over the weekend, too. So, Mrs. Bueller, I hope you had an absolutely wonderful weekend. Okay, so before we talk about, like, recess expectations, um, yep, let's address the elephant in the room. Mrs. Stanfield Dunham's eye is looking a little bit funky. So uh, when my son was sick over the weekend, he was uh, kind enough to share that uh, sickness with his mother you know just a way of saying thank you for thank you, taking care of me mom I will share my uh, eye sickness and uh, other stuff with you sharing is not always caring when it comes to that kind of stuff but anyways I wanted to introduce something to you guys that I think we can also introduce at recess for recess respect um, this is one of my favorite sayings and it says Think before you speak. Is it T for true, H for helpful, I for inspiring, N for necessary, and K for kind? Okay. Um, and that ends up spelling think, T-H-I-N-K. So, for example, when you see Mrs. Stanfield Dunham today, should you go up to her and be like, it looks like somebody poked you in the eye? <laughs> Is that helpful, necessary, or kind? No. <laughs> but take it and think about recess for a second. Like if somebody is is not playing fairly or if something is not going your way in a game, do you need to go up to that person and be like, I'm not your friend anymore? Okay. Is that true? Well, yeah, probably not. You know, you'll probably be playing another time together. Is it helpful? Does that help the situation? No, it doesn't make them want to play uh, fair if you are saying, no, I'm not your friend anymore. Is it inspiring? Are you making them want to play better? Not really. hate to tell you that, but saying that you're not going to be someone's friend anymore doesn't make them go, ooh, maybe I'm going to play the game more fairly. Uh, is it necessary or kind? Nope, not really, okay? What you could do is say, hey, we need to stop the game for a second. This isn't fair. Let's go over the rules again or maybe make up some rules as a team, okay? So before you speak today, um, see if you can try it out. Is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, or kind? All right, you guys, have a wonderful one. We'll see you soon. Let's do our affirmations. I can be kind to myself and others. I can be safe. I can be ready to learn. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> 